to the 18th annual Unified School Day Games. We have 175 athletes from four different programs participating this morning. My name is Ben Smith and I'm a Unified Athlete, but today I'll be your Master of Ceremonies. Let's welcome our athletes and coaches. When I call your school, let's get loud! Let's give a warm welcome to Fair Haven. And let's welcome Southeastern Massachusetts Educational Collaborative, SMEC. Hometown School, Dartmouth Public Schools! Thank you all very much. Let me hand the microphone over to Mr. Capello. Thank you, Ben. Okay, we're still waiting on one more school so they'll find their way in. Freetown Lakeville is going to be joining us. But thanks to everybody. Um, looks like we got a good group here today. And I definitely want to thank you to all the teachers that are here. to a long walk up here from Quinn, so certainly appreciate that. Now, there's a few people that I need to thank before we get started. One is Mr. Bro. Where's Mr. Bro? Give Mr. Bro a hand. Does a lot of behind-the-scenes work. Does a tremendous job helping out with the high school and middle school and, and, and this event as well. Miss KP, you'll see her over here, the PALS teacher. She's put a lot of work into seeing all the signage that you'll find around here. Dartmouth PE and staff, PE staff, we have most of the PE staff here today going to be running some of the events as well as Dartmouth administration. Thank you to the Quinn principals who are also here. A big thank you to Bay State Gymnastics who are here at center field. They, they, uh, Right at the 50-yard line, they have been a big supporter of Dartmouth, and, and I think you're going to really enjoy that station. Um, the biggest, the only way we can really make this work is, is our volunteers, so really a big hand of, of, of applaud, please, for the Unified Athletes Learning Partners from the middle school and high school. So when you see them wearing yellow shirts today, they're all helping out, so thank you very much. And one more thank you to our DJ, Brian, right behind me. Thanks very much to Coach here for doing, being our DJ for the day. If you guys have any requests, make sure you go talk to him. Okay, so if you look around on some of the Dartmouth t-shirts, you'll see a butterfly on the back of the t-shirt. And that butterfly is a remembrance for our, our teachers, our coaches, our athletes, our students of Deidre Tavares, and Deidre passed away in 2021. Deidre not only went through the Dartmouth school system, but she also was in the SMEC program. So she's a big part of this event. We like to think about her often. We have a butterfly garden out in front of Miss KP's classroom. Um, and, and what I'd like to do is just start with a moment of silence for Deidre, if we could, in memory of Deidre Tavares. Great, thank you very much everybody. And one more thing, we have a little presentation for Deidre's family and Deidre's here. Miss KP, we had a bunch of signatures, we had it shadow boxed. It is a t-shirt from today's games, signed by her friends, her teachers, uh, maybe along the way. And here's uh, Deidre's mom, thank you very much. Great, thank you. So, moving on, we want to have our national anthem. So, if we can, let's all stand. And I would like to invite Quinn student Autumn Roy to come on up and sing our national anthem today. Thank you. Early light, what 
so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land. Crushed it. Great job by Autumn. I'd now like to call up Tyler Medeiros, who is going to read the oath. Come on up, Tyler. Repeat after me. Let me win. But if I couldn't win, but if I cannot win let me be brave in the attempt. That's right. Good job. Great, great job. Great job. Great job, Tyler. Great job. Okay, we're gonna get started in a few minutes. I want to hand the phone, hand the microphone back to to Ben. He's gonna give us a few words of encouragement. Thank you, Mr. Capello. I was once in your shoes. To all the young kids out there from kindergarten to fifth grade. And today is a really fun day. Have fun, have a blast. And without further ado, I declare the Special Olympics School Day Games open. Let the games begin. My name is uh, Mr. Capello, Mike Capello. I'm the adaptive phys ed teacher in the school system. So I um, really involved a lot of the Special Olympics activities and activities like today. I helped put together with some other teachers like John Bro, um, Ashley Coker Pierpont, um, and a few uh, several other SPED teachers. And we try and make this a real exciting day, and not only just for the Dartmouth students, but inviting neighboring communities to be involved as well. How many years have you been doing this event? Yeah, so this is my 32nd year in Dartmouth. Um, we have, this is the 18th annual one that we've done. We've been doing it for, I've been doing it for 30 something years, but we've been hosting now for 18 years. Um, and we've had it at the high school, we have it here. Uh, so yeah, so we've been doing this for a little bit. It seems to get bigger and bigger. And this year, we had to go with two events. We had the high school event last week, and this week is the elementary event. A lot of work goes, a lot of planning goes into events. How rewarding is it to see it? every year just yeah no it's fun just to you know and you always hear that it's kind of a cliche but everyone has smiles on their faces but you know not just the 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 students or the athletes but you see the families as well really enjoying time with their kids um, and the teachers too this is kind of a nice break for them being in the classroom being out here enjoying the, the weather so you know it's, it's very rewarding I think for everybody involved this is the best day of my life here uh, yeah so you're having a good time yeah best day of your life uh-huh well, what are you most looking forward to uh, the gymnastic part. What do you like doing on the gymnastics? Do you like uh, doing... kicking that thing? What's kicking. your name? Odin. How old are you, Odin? Nine, ten. I'm, uh, I'm having fun. What's your name? Abel. Abel. What, what, what? What's your favorite part? What are you having most fun doing? The running over there. How'd you do in your race? Good. I think. <laughs> I think you did really good. Um, I think you won every race. You did? Nice, nice job. How much fun are you having with your friends today? A lot. What's What's the most exciting thing about about today? Is it the running, or is it being with your friends, your teachers? It's about running. 
talks about running? Yeah. You're, are you, so you're a fast runner? Yeah. All right, great job. <laughs> Yeah, my name is John Bro. I'm the lead teacher of special education at Dartmouth High. Uh, and my role is honestly just to help Mike kind of facilitate and coordinate the events. So uh, together, our, our group with Mike and Ashley, we do all the outreach and all the setup. So it's, it's awesome when it all comes together on a day like today. An event like today, it's not just Dartmouth here, it's all the surrounding communities. What's it like to see everyone come together to support all these athletes. That's what it's all about. I mean, we're really fortunate that Mike has done a phenomenal job with Dartmouth and making sure that our programs are all set. Um, but it's great that we've been able to grow and to encompass a, a lot more of the surrounding community. And for these kids, I mean, you look around and they have a smile on their face and they're having a blast. And for them to get that opportunity in the limelight is what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, and, and obviously, yeah, that's, what is it like for these kids? You walk around and all you, all, you, you see smiling faces, you see kids, they're the center of attention, they're enjoying the day. What's, what, how rewarding of an experience is that for you? If I could do this and not teach, I would do it in a second. Uh, because it's just a lot of fun. Like, you know, we had experiences in high school or college where you got to be involved and you'd participate every day in something. And for some of these kids, they just have a unique uh, need set that doesn't allow that. So for them to have this opportunity and to really have some fun and we can celebrate them, it makes it all, all the worthwhile. And I saw at the beginning of the day, you guys honored um, Deidre. What is her presence over this event? Yeah, we, we were so fortunate to have Deidre in our programs for a number of years. And uh, with her passing, it was just something that she was so involved and her family was so committed to this. So we really just have wanted to keep her memory alive and really um, just honor her and her family as they've been such a big part of our Dartmouth Public School family for, you know, almost 20 years now so it's really special to have them here and to be able to honor them with that shirt it just that's really it is what it's about and it's so so meaningful it's just a great feeling to know how many people my daughter has touched in her life and even beyond you know that even with her not physically here looking around she's still here you know what I mean it's just it's it's tre tremendous I mean she she loved she made connections with so many people but there are people here who she never even met and the connection is still 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 there and like you said like her memory lives on and like um what did this event mean to her oh she loved it yeah <laughs> she, she would be pizza. up every day oh yeah <laughs> when she was done she was done everybody knows that you yeah. know yeah. um but she looked when she knew it was coming she looked forward to it um she loved she, practicing, she loved, ready she, and yeah. rotating. No one, we would come and asking us if we would come and making sure we would be there. Yeah. You she know, her make, friends. Make sure she got a medal in every color. We you know, she wanted one, one of each. So she was definitely, definitely a, a bundle of joy. I know she's not here, but like seeing the other children smile. So this station right that, in like, front of me. How does that make you feel going inside? All the way like, down this is to a, the it's, it's a perfect community event. Like, and the, um, and like, how, yeah, how, how does that make you feel to see like other children having that experience that Deidre had? The, the joy you see on, I mean all children, but special needs children's faces is a type of joy that you can't even describe. You know what I mean? I've always said special needs kids are angels on earth. You know what I mean? And just seeing them, the joy they have, the, the way they view the world, trying to view it through their eyes is just like, an experience I wish everybody could could see, yeah. you know. Yeah, they take it and they, it's such a, a, a beautiful level of just pure joy in everything they do. So definitely it's it's a blessing to see them smile the way she would smile during these, these events and every day. <laughs>
today mean for as far as a community building event? Oh, I think it's huge for us to be able to host these other communities and come in and celebrate, uh, celebrate our kids and really get a chance to, to highlight uh, the good work we do for kids here. It's, it's fantastic. And how special is it to see how happy yeah. these kids are? It's one of the best days of the year, you know, and, and I think you go around and you talk to the staff from the different school districts, everybody feels that way. It's just very uplifting to uh, be able to spend this time with the kids and, and see how much they get out of an experience like this, interacting with each other and with uh, with the different school districts. So yeah, it's, it's a joy, it really is. Mr. Capello and all the people involved that put this together um, do a fantastic job and I mean it's just it's a great day all the students are out here running around teamwork playing together um, it's just really a blast for everybody oh my god you want to start I've already cried about five times since I've gotten here I think it's just an event that brings everybody together and I mean look around it's amazing I mean seeing the smiles in the kids faces you see the, the parents in the stands yeah. you see the teachers coming out they're just so proud of where these kids have come and for them to showcase their skills is just really amazing. Yeah. I assume this is an easy one to get the staff to want to come to. They're like, uh, like fighting, <laughs> fighting to come here. Yes. 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 We're, we're lucky to actually have the opportunity <laughs> to sneak away, and I think the goal is to try to fill those stands with as many students as possible and teachers. And so this is just a wonderful event. I like to do gymnastics. You do? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's your name? Chloe. Chloe, how what you, how much fun are you having today? Um, so much fun. What's your favorite thing that you, you, you're excited about today? Gymnastics. All right, so I'm the master of ceremonies, thank you, Chad, um, and I'm also doing the kicking. So I've been a part of Special Olympics uh, since my elementary school days. I've been doing helping out uh, since middle school, and this year I was really had was really fortunate to doing the volunteering for this year's event. So it's really fun time, great day to get everybody out and about today. So yeah. And we got pizza at lunch too, so we got. I know, like this event, you don't just do it, just do it. It, it holds a special place in your heart. What, why, what makes this event special to you? What really makes this event really special to me is seeing all the kids happy, seeing all the kids smiling, smiling faces and whatnot as they receive their awards. Um, it's a really fun day, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, just really fun, and really like to see all these kids having fun as well. What's your name? Eden. And, and what are you looking most forward to doing today? Um, what like, so do you like the gymnastics? Do you like the drums over here? What do you like the most? I like running, you know. What do you like doing most for sport, for all these events? Is there anything special that stands out for you? Well, you get to run faster than the others. How much fun are you, are you having today with all your friends? A great time, thank you. 
and how, and you have all, all your teachers and all this. What is what is a day like today with all your teachers and your friends mean to you? It means that they're caring about me. And, uh, uh, yep, that's I mean, that's a perfect answer. Nice job. Great work. Great work. Eat it in and out, Mike. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Southeastern Massachusetts Educational Collaborative, SMAC! Great job, SMAC. Great job, Smack. Now let's welcome Bear Haven. Great job, buddy. Welcome, Freetown Freetown Lakeville. Good job, guys. Great job, Dartmouth.
Great job, Dartmouth. Great job, buddy. Great job, Quinn. Let's hear it one last time for our 175 athletes.